Ladies and gentlemen, the name of my book is The Positive Mind, and I'd like to think that it is my positive mind that helped it climb to the top of the lists. No, that's a little bit self-serving, isn't it? Why not? Maybe I should start with the stuff you know about the, uh, about the train. The train? Yeah, the train. The forward-moving train locked on its tracks, always moving ahead. You did read this book, didn't you? Uh, Melissa, please don't <clears throat> lean against the door. I think I'm nervous about tonight. Do I seem nervous? <laughs> kind of makes you wish you hadn't written a bestseller, huh? Well, not that nervous, no. Mel, Mel. Honey, now your mother asked you not to lean against the door. Now your sister knows where she's coming to sit for us tonight. Yes, she says we should have stayed at the Norwood. Oh, your sister and her suggestions. The publishers booked us into the same hotel they booked the convention, so what can I tell you? All right, come on, homeboy. Want to play? Come on, homeboys, could be a lucky day. Anybody can win. Anybody, you want to trust me? Trust me on this. Anybody can win this game. It's for everybody. Hey, sweetheart, you even you. See this red queen? She's a clever one. You guys want to help her out? Uh, will you be Come taking on. these suitcases right down. up to the room? Uh, yes, sir, as soon as you're checked in. Melissa, I'll find out the room. what Bring if I right told up. you about talking to strangers? Yeah. But mom. Come on, let's go find daddy. Give me your hand. But mom. Come on, let's go find daddy. Ah, yes. We're expecting you. Oh, I see there's a phone message waiting for you. Really? We just got here. You like that, Melissa? I want you to have the dress so I can have the big doll. Well, they might consider giving us the dress. But I'm sure they'd like to keep her. She's beautiful. Mm, not as beautiful as my little girl. <laughs> Ruth. Your sister called. Donna Granada. Yeah, Jeff Harper. Harper? Yeah, from Bexton Insurance? Well, you remember I tried to get your boss to buy some policies last fall? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, well, listen, I'm in town for the night, and you said next time I was around I should get... What's that? What, you're busy? You're too busy for me? Hey, come on, you're the only person I know in this whole town. No, huh? Well, listen, while I got you, I, I know this is crazy, but, I mean, do you think your boss might want to reconsider adding our policy, you know, now that I'm back in town? Well, hey, you can't blame a guy for trying. Yeah, you too. Yeah, goodbye. So, Jennifer, what are you saying? So why didn't so why didn't you call last night if you were feeling sick? Oh, of course I understand. It's just, I mean, what are we gonna do with Melissa? Dennis and I have to be in the ballroom in a few hours. Nice puppy. Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. Nice puppy. <laughs> Melissa, what are you doing? I was just what trying. Whose dog is that? I don't know. Excuse me. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Your dog almost bit my child. That's not possible. Mom, she's the dog lady from TV. I don't care who she is. Dog lady. <laughs> what a sweet child. My dear girl, you must be mistaken. 
My Georgie wouldn't hurt a fly. He's been perfectly trained by me. Here, I'll show you. Georgie, come. Georgie. Look, it's okay. It's just, just please keep an eye on him. Listen, let's go find Daddy, okay? Don't tell me, not your sister. She's sick. She's just too sick to babysit. Look, please don't start in on me. I, I tried to do Come everything on. that I could. There's nothing that I Damn could it, do. Damn it, I told you that we... Hey, oh, <laughs> What's the point? Honey, I hate to say this, but maybe I should stay with Mel, and then tonight you well, could go give and your... miss the most important night of my life? That's not an option. Look, does... The hotel here have any kind of babysitting service? No, sir, it doesn't. But it's funny you should ask, because if you don't mind my being forward and all, I have a niece who's free tonight. And if uh, you uh, if you needed someone and it was really important, there'd be no problem at all. Well, has she ever done any babysitting before? Ma'am, she's a terrific kid. She's smart, responsible, I assure you. And she could sure use the money. Not that she's not well provided for, of course. How, uh, if you don't mind my asking, how long have you worked here? Going on 25 years, sir. 25 years of perfect service. You can ask anybody. Hey, Dennis, just, I just... Just a second. You sure she could come tonight? Oh, it's no problem at all. I'll see her and the wife at my lunch break, and I could tell her all about it then. Okay, honey? Uh, I mean, we'll be right in the hotel anyway. What could happen? We'll work it out. You sure it'll be no problem? No, no problem at all. I tried putting a little more salt this time, like you asked me to. Huh, I'll be sure and tell Julia Child when I talk with her. Hey, I'm on my break. Give it a rest. I'll do really fine tonight. <laughs> Be proud of me, I promise. Oh, promise me, kiddo. Promise me it won't kill you to step away from that damn TV for five minutes. Hey, I am talking to you! Alice, oh, sit down. Temp agency just let her go, you know? That's why she needs to work. And the dry cleaners? And the fast food place before that? Everybody says her mind wonders. I don't need her resume. I'm asking what you're thinking. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the kid has to earn a few bucks before we kick the hell out of here. That's what I am thinking. Now drop it. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. It isn't often that I do. You lock yourself in, why? I locked the world up. Like I, I don't know what has happened to me. I, I'm like a seed sprouting up, clutching at life. I can hear and, and, and feel the sun. The sun. Mm. I am and conscious, conscious of surfaces, surfaces and, and, and their textures. textures I, I have such, an, such awareness. an awareness. Such an such awareness. An awareness. You know, I was thinking last night of that line in Thompson's poem. Tis ye, tis your estranged faces that miss the many splendid things. 
Why don't we have some peace and quiet around this place for a change? I have a feeling that heaven is unfair and is preparing for you and for me. Now your mother had hair just like this. You were too young to know that. Mine was like this once, too, if you can believe it. Back in the Middle Ages. See, this is what the boys like to do. Hmm? And this is where I drew the line with them. Because I knew they weren't serious. See, I knew they'd run off like your mom's boy did. I see you had beautiful hair. No, no, no. I'll do it again. We've just spent the most beautiful day together, you and I. Our picnic in the hills. No. Our picnic by the sea was wonderful. I can tell you are going to ask me very soon. And I can hardly wait. It is our fate to be as one and our fate to love our beautiful children. I came up to tell you to get a move on, but I have to say, I never knew we had such a talented person living in our house. Put that down. <laughs> I just started it. I want to see how it is. Please give it to me. Oh, oh, no. Do you really marry this handsome stranger and have three beautiful kids, or do you end up a lonely waif who takes odd jobs for pennies? It's huh? mine. Give it back. Yours. Kiddo, in this house, nothing is yours. In this house, we share everything. And besides, I'm just getting to the good part. You know things about me that no one else knows. Oh, that's good. You alone understand me, the me that no one else ever wants to see. I love you. No more, please. No more. Just give it back. Oh, why? Is there something about me in here? I say give it back! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. 
I'm just like everybody else. Are you still worried? You know, the front desk vouched for that elevator guy. Yeah, that's him. But what about her? Oh, don't listen to me. You know how crazy I get about things like this. Melissa, honey, tell your mother what a good little girl you're gonna be tonight. I promise. Honey, come on, don't play with that stuff, okay? But I wanna look as beautiful as you do, Mom. Well, that's the nice thing about being a little girl. They can be beautiful without having to do anything to themselves. Can't I just put this on? Oh, honey, come on. Mommy said no. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, the front desk said they had some kind of rock group staying here. I tried to get this room on a different floor. This is all they had. Perfect. Drop you off? I guess. You told her to stop in and say hello. She said that she had to go to the department store. Oh, yeah. Shopping again. Between the two of you, it's a wonder I don't have a dime at the end of the month. Things are going to be different now. It's nice to meet you. Honey, babysitter's here. Welcome. Hello. Hi. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Uh, am I too early? No, no, you're right on time. Come on in. must be Nell. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jones. Hi. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you. What's funny? Oh, <laughs> my, my Uncle Carl. He said you were beautiful. And he's right. Oh, well, thank you. Melissa! Nell, oh this my is my goodness. Is this the most perfect little girl? <laughs> what have you got there? May I see? <laughs> Peter and the Wolf. I don't believe that this is my most favorite piece of music in the whole world. Can we listen to this together? Do you know what instrument the bird is? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. The bird is the flute, isn't it? Can I go back to my room now? After a kiss, sweetheart.
See you later, sweetheart. Good night. Good night. She's beautiful. She's shy. That's okay. <laughs> I used to be shy, too. Honey, we really have to get going. Um, my husband's supposed to be the first speaker tonight. So we should be able to duck out fairly early. Now, Melissa should have some dinner and be in bed no later than 8.30. And, oh. Yeah, here's some money for dinner. <laughs> and uh, we'll just be downstairs in the opposite wing if you need us. Don't you worry, Mrs. Jones. I'll treat her like she's my very own. Ruth. I'll call a little later. Just to check in. Well, you can if you want, but believe me, we'll, we'll be just fine. Do you anything to say? Happy? Oh, I've never felt like this before. Oh. I like, I like, I like looking down, down from high up. Oh, dizzy and unsure. You won't fall. I'll hold you. Mother's gone up. It's Anna's bedtime. Just this once, pretend you forgot. There'll, There'll be, be so many nights, night. darling. Two, Two lifetimes full till we're both old and even Anna's grown and married, too. What's wrong? I'm jealous. I'm even jealous of a little girl. But she's my, my daughter. daughter. I, I can't just forget my duty to her. Everyone else in the world. How do you know what they're gonna say? What the world will say. I just put myself in that situation, and it's easy. Why'd you do that, honey? Because it's only a movie. People don't really act that way. Oh, but that's not true. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be. What do you mean? We could continue the show ourselves. You know? <laughs> Pretend. How? What's that? It's a magic rock. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. How did you know that? The way you were holding it. It's like your eyes. How do you mean? Pretty. You really think I'm pretty? <laughs> so, what do we pretend? 
friend. Well, hmm. let's see. Well, one of the things that I've always wanted to be is is a perfect mommy to a little girl just like you. <laughs> Does that sound silly? My dad says, if you wish for something hard enough, you always get it. It's in his book. Is that so? Well, one of the things that I wish for is to be the kind of mommy who would let a little girl like you have whatever she wanted. <laughs> is that a good wish? OK. Now close your eyes. <laughs> Come on, close your eyes, silly. <laughs> a lady must always look her best. That tickles. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, where has my little girl gone? My goodness. No. I know she was here a minute ago. Excuse me, ma'am, have you seen her? Come on, it's me. No. No, it couldn't be. But it is. <laughs> Isn't that incredible, Melissa? Well, it just goes to show you. What? Well, you can be one person one minute and another the next. <laughs> One potato, two. Hey, so what's wrong? That dog almost bit me. You're safe with me. Come on. Come on. Come on, sweetie. It's OK. Come on. He's still staring at me. You don't worry, honey. I'll make sure that doggy doesn't bother you again. Hey, lady, you feel lucky tonight? Sorry. Hey, you want to play? Come on. No, no thanks. This could be your night. Well, look who's back. Only this ain't Sesame Street. If you want to play this game, you got to put up your money. I'm going to see this is all we have, so rub your magic lap against it, OK? Here we go. Queen, queen, queen. We know where she's been. King and Jack Bob, but where is she at now? <laughs> okay, it's been lots of fun. Have a nice day. I've never won anything before in my whole life. Well, I'm thrilled for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Play it again. Play it again? Don't you want to quit while you're ahead? Play it again. Wait a minute. OK. It's a cute kid. Queen, queen, queen. One on the side and in between. King, man, and Jack, where that lady be at? She's right here. <laughs> I don't believe this. This is my day. I knew it would come. Everything is happening today. One more time. 
Hey, watch it. Don't stand so close to my table, okay, kiddo? Did you call her kiddo? Hey, look, lady, she's short. Maybe she can see under my cars or something. I'm not short. Melissa, honey, there's a great toy store. It's right around the corner. I want you to go there and wait for me, okay? Okay. All right, come on. Go ahead. I'll be right there. What did you call my little girl? What did I call your little girl? I really don't give a damn about your little girl. You shut up before I rip your tongue out. Absolutely not. Now you let me take that thought out of your head right now, okay? What are you doing? Shh, I'm trying to find the thought. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. Now hold on, okay, while I pull it out. No better. Then what do you say? Thank you. And what else? Who am I? Thank you, Mommy. Now I want to show you something. I'll keep them closed. Okay. You like it? Yeah. This is where I live. It is? Yes. You love it here. It's always peaceful. Everyone's always nice to everyone. There are no evil people here. Can you see the sky behind it? Yeah. I can go up there anytime I want. Really? Hmm. Can I go too? I don't know yet. We'll see. Would you like to go get a big hot fudge sundae from the hotel coffee shop, hmm? While I take care of something?
I got a letter from him on Monday. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 Y
telling you, this town is a bust. Hello? Do you believe in fate? As a matter of fact, I, I do. <laughs> yes. Then why did you pull down the shade? There you go. <laughs> so, what are you up to? be so bold as to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yeah. I suggest you are waiting for the perfect man to come over there and sweep you off your feet and take you away from everything. I... I was... I was just thinking that. That would be wonderful. I'll be over there in a little bit. <laughs> I mean, do you know what it's like to spend a year in the same room, hunched forward, your eyes fixed on the same computer screen, day after day, crawling your way, word by word, towards finishing a book about keeping your spirits up by maintaining a positive mind? <laughs> okay, okay, and then, and then, finally, the book does get published. And my esteemed publisher here keeps all the good reviews. He sends me only the bad ones. He says, doesn't want me to get spoiled. Right. You're not kidding me, are you? There were a few good reviews. Just a few, yeah. Honey. Honey. Yes, sir. I, I thought you were going to be the first to speak. Well, I am. No, not, not according to the program. Hey, now, that's my fault, Mrs. J. You see, as soon as Latimer slipped to number two on the bestseller list, well, she insisted she not have to follow the new number one on the program. Now, she swore to me she's going to skip dinner, just pop in here, deliver a short speech, and get right out. Now, is there a problem? Well, it's just, you see, we have our daughter upstairs. No, and no, just... no, no. It's not a problem. You've never looked lovelier. You are the perfect vision of loveliness. Hey, all right. The record company sent over some entertainment. Who are you? Who am I? That's good. Who are you, babe? Mike, you in there? I asked you who you are. Who am I? I'm the bass player. Okay, good enough? Just what do you think you're doing? What am I doing? Okay, groupie, the joke is over, okay? Step aside. Don't you come near me. Don't come near you? Is there a problem here? Stay out of this, okay? Honey, thank goodness you came along. This man is trying to break into our room. This man? Uh, hey, look, buddy, why don't you just move along? Look, I was told to come up to room 510, okay? Get your hands off of me. Just walk away. No, you walk away, okay? Hey! hey. Sorry, I didn't hear that. What did you say? Huh? Huh? Oi. Bobby. What are you doing? The note said you were in 510. No, 501, mate. That's us, 501. Close, though. You finished here? I thought it said 510. Sorry, mate. Won't happen again. Ain't that right, Mother Teresa? <laughs> you okay? Hello. 
what would I have done if you hadn't come along? Come on, he was a jerk. I mean, you know, don't sweat it. Oh. <laughs> so, um, can I come in for a drink? They have music and dancing downstairs. <laughs> can we go there? Sure. Sure, we can go downstairs and if that's what you want. Whoa. Now this is how to live. <laughs> Thank you. So was that guy bugging you for long? I'm bothered all the time. I never have any peace. Well, a woman with your looks sort of comes with the territory. <laughs> Flatterer. I'm just being honest. As a matter of fact. Hey, who are you? <laughs> Look, if this is a bad time, I can... No, it's, it's, it's okay, really. I'll, I'll take care of it. Melissa. Come on, honey. I'll be right back. My boyfriend. Really? What's he doing here? He can't stand to be away from me for too long. <laughs> Isn't that incredibly romantic? And he's come here to ask me to marry him. He has? And I'll tell you a secret. The answer is going to be yes. <laughs> Listen, I need to go downstairs with him for a few minutes. You mean leave me up here all by myself? Oh, you're a big girl. Besides, we won't be gone too long. Okay. What are you going to do? Well, I wasn't going to tell you this. But I'm planning a big surprise for you. And that's all I can say for now. For me? What is it? Okay, but can I watch more television? <laughs> you certainly can. And you know why? <laughs> it's beating so fast. <laughs> Everything I've ever wanted is happening to me today. And I owe it all to you, my perfect little girl. I'll never let you go. Not ever. You kids have a nice evening now. Thank you. <laughs> so one room for the kid and one for you. That's uh, not bad. Um, is she going to be, be OK up there all alone? <laughs> Don't you worry about our little girl. She'll be just fine. OK. Now you be a gentleman hmm? and escort your lady to the lounge. <sighs> My pleasure. I think it's just right down. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I think we can get a cab outside. Nell! So beautiful here. Yes, it is. Nell! Come here. Well, who's that? Why don't you go into the lounge, hmm? And, and I'll meet you there in, in a little while. What, is everything all right? <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. It's, Wait, you it's, sure? Yeah, it's just, it's someone I know. Go ahead. Okay. Come here. What are you doing down here? Where's the kid? 
There's nothing to worry about. She's perfectly fine upstairs in her room. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> He's just some guy who started talking to me in the elevator. Oh, he is, is he? Where'd you get that dress upstairs? It was given to me. Oh, it was, was it? We'll see about that. What are you doing? No, don't make a scene. So help me if you have screwed up again. Where's the kid? Where is she? I'm getting her. Sweetheart, would you come here a second? Honey, <laughs> honey, you remember my Uncle Carl, don't you? Yeah, sure I do. Nice to see you, kiddo. Uh, how you two been getting along? Now's my best friend in the whole world. Oh, oh she is, huh? Eh? Oh, that's very nice. Tell me, what are you, uh, what have you two been up to? Well, she got me ice cream, and we play games together and everything. She was just downstairs getting me a big surprise. <laughs> she even put on this dress for me. She didn't want it at first, but I made her. Oh, that was your idea? Don't you think your mommy would mind now putting on that dress? No, why should she? She wanted me to play dress up. It's just a game. I can take it off. Well, I just came by to see you again before I clocked out. Can I go back to my room now? Are you sure you can? Come on. Nice to see you again. And nice to see you too, kiddo. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Calling Alice. See if she wants me to pick up anything on the way home from work. Oh, she doesn't need anything. The refrigerator's full. No, it isn't. Told me she was out of everything before I left for work. Well, I don't think the Joneses would appreciate you using their phone. What do you say? I just, I don't want any problems. Look, I worked here a little longer than you have, okay? I don't need your help, okay? Hello, Alice? Oh, Carl, thank God it's you. This is Denise. I, I just let myself in. Something terrible has happened. Hey, what's the matter? What? What are you saying? What happened? What? What are you saying? She... She what? And now listen here. I don't think she knows. Where is she? Uh, Nell, uh, Nell is, uh... Nell is here with me. Uh, don't worry about her. I'll deal with her. I'll... I'll be right there. Nell... I don't know how to tell you this, but I, I don't know how to say this. I didn't mean it. What? She looked at my diary. She read my secrets. It's because she hates me. You both hate me. What are you telling me? Oh, my God. What are you telling me? What are you me telling me? You are leaving with me, lady, right now! I can't leave without Melissa! What about what? What are your nuts? Get the things, we're leaving! I'm not going with you! I'm never going back there! Damn it, you're gonna do what I tell you to do! You can't make me leave! <laughs>
Nell, this is Mrs. Jones. Oh, hello, Mrs. Jones. How did Mr. Jones' speech go? Oh, believe it or not, he hasn't even given it yet. It took you a long time to pick up the phone. Hello? Oh, I was, I was just tucking Melissa into bed. Oh, darn. I want to say goodnight to her. Well, um, if you hold on, I, I can see if she's still awake. No, no, that's okay. It's hard enough to get her into bed in the first place. Um, listen, now, my husband is no longer the first speaker, so I'm not sure when we're going to be through. Oh, well, don't worry on my account, Mrs. Jones. She, she's, she's just a wonderful little girl. Frankly, I'd like to keep her. Well, thank you, Nell. It's very nice. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can be. You, you take your time, Mrs. Jones. Really, you... <clears throat> take your time. Listen, I know it's not something a man of your age, a man obviously in good health, wants to think about, but if something should happen, you want the ones that survive to suffer as little as possible. Am I right? I don't know. I think our current policy already covers that. Well, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, but you've got to ask yourself, would a little supplement help? Can my loved ones be cared for too much? <laughs> you are slick, I'll give you that. <laughs> hey, you say it a dozen times a day, day after day, you'd be slick too. How about another beer? Uh, well, actually, uh, I'm waiting for someone. Hot date, huh? Mm -hmm. I remember those days. It just matter. The you know, fact is, part of the bitch of what I do is you're never in one place for long. I mean, you think I'd get used to being alone, but, uh... Let me guess. Yeah, that's her. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, here you go. Come back anytime, salesman. Mind if I cut in? Did you miss me? Every second. Is everything all right? Better and better now that you're here. Hmm. Well, I'm ready. You're ready? Don't you have something you've been wanting to ask me? Well, yeah, I suppose I do, but um, I'd rather say it upstairs. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wanna dance first? My pleasure. I'm sorry. I was knocking to see if you want the bed turned down. I can't sleep. What's the matter, sweetheart? She left me here all alone. Who's that? She said she'd only be gone a little bit, but I checked the next room and she's still gone. 
Let's see. Does your mommy allow you to have candy? Uh-huh. Well, here, you take that. Now, don't worry, sweetheart. I'm sure she'll be right back. Okay, go back to bed now, okay? Night. One hopes to hold on to the number one position of the bestseller list for a few weeks. Well, let me tell you, it took two and a half months to knock this lady off that list. I'm just glad it was another one of my authors that did the knocking. <laughs> I give you Winona Lamb. You know, I don't understand you. You call up, you find out everything's fine, and you're still nervous. Well, it's just that she sounded so... I don't know, it's just... Ruth, honey, calm down. This will be over in no time, listen. Okay. I have promised to be brief. Though there are no definitive records for this, historians have come to the consensus that the first canine was said to have emerged around the time of the Brontosaurus. In fact, as early as 7,000 years ago, we knew that the ancient Egyptians practiced the art of selective breeding. You really are beautiful, you know that? What's wrong? First things first, my good man. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you have something you want to ask me? Something... Well, um... <laughs> do you... Hey! You weren't supposed to leave me alone for that long. almost the whole time. You're a liar. What did you call me? Hey, it's no big deal. No, you stay out of this. I'm sorry. Why don't you go sit down? Yes, ma'am. Melissa, you go back to bed. No. You go back in there now, young lady, or there's no telling what I will do. You don't scare me. Oh, I don't, huh? Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. you what that is. Nothing. Let me see it. Melissa, let me see it. I don't 
want you to have it anymore. I'm sorry. You're, you're right. We were gone a long time. Come here. I wasn't going to tell you this, but that man in there, you was helping me with your big surprise. I want to see it now. Well, not yet. But if you're a good girl, I'll take you to it soon. But I've been a good girl, and I want to see it now. Or, or I'll tell Mommy you've been a bad sitter. That's the last time I want to hear about your Mommy, you understand? Honey, why do I have to scold you? I've given you everything you ever wanted. Nobody's ever given me anything. Not ever. But you know that man in there? Yeah. He was about to ask me to marry him. Sorry. Don't you worry. It's not too late. <laughs> Listen, just please go to sleep now, okay? long enough. When do I get to hear the words? <laughs> words? What words? No. Don't be silly. Here. Let me make it easier for you. Sorry, I'm not following this. What are you doing? On your knees, sir. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't want me to beg, do you? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Hey, what's going on here? Uh, I, th I thought tonight was the night. You thought, what are you talking about? The night for what? The night you were going to propose to me. Propose? Propose what? Well, don't look at me like I'm crazy. What, what did I want you to be mine forever mean? Look, if this is some kind of joke, you better clue me in. A joke? A joke? My dearest Angel Nell, you are always in my thoughts and in my heart. I love you. Does that sound like a joke? Never did I imagine that it could be like this now, never in my wildest dreams. Love has always been denied me. Before I met you, Nell, I was alone, completely alone. Hey. 
Terrible days, terrible nights, a life spent waiting, hoping, praying that one day someone like you would come along. Someone who would love me without question, who would My love God, me. would you stop? What are you doing to yourself? It's not what I'm doing to myself. It's what you are doing to me. Doing to you? Hey, wait a minute, lady. I mean, we're, we're both adults here. You know, I, I was feeling lonely. I thought I saw a lonely woman in a window. I picked up a phone. I mean, this is a little weird. I didn't say any of those things. We're strangers, for God's sakes. I know what you're doing. <laughs> You're lying to me. You're just trying to destroy me like everyone else. Hey. Hey, take it easy. I'm not trying to destroy you. Don't come near me. You have got to leave now before I do something bad. Get out! You get out right now! <laughs> That's right. He's wearing a gray sport coat. He's about six feet tall, brown hair, blue eyes. Try and stop him. Thanks. <sighs> Ma'am? I didn't do anything to him. I let him go. Do you think that counts? Counts? <laughs> Sorry, what do you mean? Oh, I came so close. Ever since I got here, <laughs> it's been almost perfect. I mean, well, look at, at you. I mean, you don't think there's anything wrong with me. I mean, you think I'm normal, don't you? Ma'am, there's nothing normal about what you've just been through. Here, take a sip of this. No, that's not an answer. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just trying to help. Just take it from me. It'll make you feel better. Why aren't you answering me? Oh. Oh, I've done something wrong, haven't I? Oh, something terribly, terribly wrong. You're going to tell me, aren't you? Everything, everything's gonna be just fine. Um, I've got something in my closet that'll clean that nasty stain right up and no one will ever know. I'll be right back. You just stay right there. I'll be right back.
Now, before I introduce our guest of honor, America's favorite positive thinker, I have another surprise to add to our agenda. It gives me great pleasure to have the time this. today to don't. be able to discuss our fall list from A to Z. Rounding out the nonfiction releases for the year will be Judy Gordon's I, I, latest. I've really been doing very well. But I am feeling very nervous. Ruth, honey, enough already. Who wouldn't be tempted to check that out? Look, I don't know how to tell you. I just, I just have this very strange feeling, and I really feel like I should go upstairs. Oh, for God's sake! What are you gonna do when she gets married and moves out of the house? Check into Bellevue? Okay. Fine. I am going to go upstairs, and I'm going to check on our daughter. Ruth. Ruth. Starting this coming season, each and every book we publish will be simultaneously released in the... Come on. Come on. Pick up. Housekeeping. Oh, Janie. Janie, thank God. Listen, it's Mary. Janie, you gotta connect me to the front desk. Mary, you okay? Janie, just connect me to the front desk. Now! Janie! Yeah, just keep your shirt on, honey. You know I'm no good at these phone transfers. Okay. Listen, you click the buttons down once. Okay? Janie, just click the buttons down once. You dial the front desk. When the front desk answers, you click the buttons down again. You got that? <gasps> no way. I press the button. And then I dial the front desk. Okay. Front desk. I did it. I don't believe. Mary. Is she on? Uh oh. Mary. Sorry, front desk. I, I guess I lost her. No problem. together. No. No. I'm going to take her upstairs to see the stars. No. Please. She read to you from her diary like you were in it? Well, would I make this up? you thought you'd seen it all. Kind of makes you want to just settle down, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. You know, you sound like me a few years ago. Let me tell you something, salesman. Being the wife, we fight all the time. But you know what makes it worth it? No. No, what's that? How far be it for me to brag, but between us, we got the best little girl in the whole world. I know I probably sound like every father sister beginning of time. What, what did I say? The kid. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? 
and she's still got the kid up there. I was dreaming that the tree was saying... <laughs> the tree talks. Yeah, and he was saying, watch out, kill a duck. Watch out. And then the duck came up and... Wait! Is this it? Is this a surprise you promised me? No, that's coming up, my love. See that star up there? That big one right next to the moon? Well, you know that magic rock that I gave you? <laughs> I took it to bed with me. <laughs> that's where I got the magic rock. That whole star is made of magic rock. Really? I want you to come with me to get some more. You want me to go with you? Come on. It's okay. We'll always be together. You and I? Together? I don't want to go alone. I've spent too much time alone already. Wait! You don't have to go alone. T t take me with you. Yeah. Stay away from me. Look, look. I I'm, I'm sorry about what I said downstairs. I, I got to... It's stupid, but I, I, I got, uh, I guess I got cold feet at the last minute, you know? I mean, settling down for a guy who's used to being on the road, it, it, it's, it's hard to, to say the words. It's too late. No, no, it's not too late, Nell, don't say that. Now listen to me, I, I, I wasn't thinking before. I don't want you and I to be apart ever again. I want to be with you. So if you're going someplace, take me with you. It's okay. Take me. Take me with you. It's so it's okay. Step back onto the roof. What? It's okay. It's okay. Melissa, step off the ledge. No! Melissa, get off the ledge. No! No! Please listen to me. Get off Stop the right there! No. He's trying to hurt me! He's trying Melissa, to hurt get me! Back on the roof. I said let her go! Just stay back! Melissa, step off the Stop ledge! Stop or I'll shoot! Just stay back!
Oh man, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Melissa, don't forget your gift. your sister a cheater. But Mom, she started it. Tommy, come on. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. To make it fair, I'll make the circle bigger. How big? Well, give me the chalk and I'll show you. Supper will be ready in a minute. Well, I'll be ready, I can tell you. I could eat a horse. <laughs> I love you so much. I want it to always be like this. It'll always be this way. It sure will, honey. I want this to last forever and ever and ever. Now. 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 Look, mister, I told you before, you've been hurt pretty bad, so you just need to lay back and relax. But, but I think she could hear me. It's OK, sir. It's all right. Just lay back and relax. Okay, let's get him on. <laughs> 